Hello and welcome to this Come to Jesus Daily devotional. I trust you are well. Let's continue reading in Luke 7, 3 to 7. The centurion heard of Jesus and sent some elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and heal his servants. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him, This man deserves to have you do this, because he loves our nation and has built our synagogue. So Jesus went with them. He was not far from the house when the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and my servant will be healed. Today's lesson, all of God's acts, including salvation and healing, are by his grace and not because we have any merit. Let's say that again. All of God's acts, including salvation and healing, are by his grace and not because we have any merit. I think it's true to say, isn't it, that many people don't pray for the sick or even ask for prayer because they don't feel that they are worthy, that they are qualified. And we're all drawn towards what's called legalism and self-righteousness, believing that our performance wins us spiritual benefits and spiritual authority. We believe that we have to pay the price for true spiritual success and Many fast and deprive themselves in an effort to win God's hearing. And I'm not negating the use of fasting, but fasting is a means of humbling ourselves and of providing more time to pray rather than a way of earning merit. God does not owe us anything. Even if we do lots of good things, he owes us nothing. He doesn't owe us salvation. He doesn't owe us healing or anything else. Anything we get from God is because of his love and mercy and nothing in ourselves. In our reading, the Jewish leaders who go to Jesus on the centurion's behalf use the goodness of the centurion as a lever for Jesus to help. In effect, they're saying, Jesus, this man is good and so you should help him because you are surely more disposed to helping good people than others. However, the text makes it clear that this this centurion is not heard because he's worthy. This servant is not healed because he's worthy. In fact, the man expresses his lack of worth. He says, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you. In the Zondervan evangelical commentary we read, the centurion voices the theological truth that applies to all. His hope is based on the goodness and power of Jesus, not on his own goodness and power. He knows himself to be unworthy, but he does not need to be worthy to seek Christ's help. He also recognises his desperate need for help and his complete helplessness to do anything himself. It's so important that we all continue to remember that we are not worthy and that God saves and heals by his grace. Tomorrow I want to talk about the importance of repentance, confession, but today I simply want us to see that we can pray confidently because of Jesus' perfect righteousness that has been given to all of us who have received Jesus as Lord and Saviour. So in response, all of God's acts, including salvation and healing, are by his grace and not because we have any merit. So are you standing on your own worth or the worth of Jesus? Is your confidence in prayer for the sick And anything else built not on your good works, but on the goodness and mercy of God. God bless you.